centuries, humankind has had the need to move large objects from one place to another, and this need is even greater today than in the past. While the techniques and equipment have changed, the principles remain the same. Some of these techniques involve lifting, carrying, and in many cases, rolling. Mammut is renowned for moving big stuff. We lift, transport, and install large and heavy structures all over the world. However, moving big is not what has made us a global market leader. Our biggest challenges are about time, uptime, turnaround time, and time to market. Mammut brings deadlines forward for its customers. Innovative engineering is a key ingredient to our success. Today we'll show you one of our latest services, which combines two of the simplest techniques using modern technology, jack lifting and airbags. In this case, Mammut was given the task of launching a 5,000 metric tons barge into the water. How could we do it? The answer was simple, we would roll it into the water. After all, rolling is a method that's been implemented for thousands of years and has geared civilization as we know it today. By doing it with airbags, we actually allow uh, the fab yards uh, in their, their highly competitive market of barge building to, without a lot of uh, extensive investments in their yard, to give them a way to uh, launch these barges uh, very economical in the water. Our final goal was to make the launch go smooth and simple. But there was some groundwork that needed to be done so this could happen. Let's go into detail. The plan was to jack the barge down into a degree parallel to the slope with bottle jacks on the stern and two meter in diameter airbags on the bow. After the inclination was achieved, the jacks and airbags would be replaced with airbags one meter in diameter. After that, gravity would take care of the rest and the barge would smoothly roll into the water. Uh, my job was to do the, the detailed engineering uh, so they made all the drawings for the client, uh, did the calculations about uh, which jack came where and how much airbags do we need. The barge had a total length of 488 feet, a width of 90 feet, and a depth of 36 feet, accruing to an approximate weight of 5,000 metric tons. The technical aspects of the barge allowed us to determine how to spread the load and the terrain where it was going to rest before launching. Based on these factors, we continued to the next step, which was analyzing the body of water where the barge was going to be launched into. Some of these factors including existing currents, water level, tidal variations, extension, and gradual depth. This last item was of particular importance as this is how we determined what preparations needed to be done in order to acquire a proper slope for the rollers. All of these factors needed to be determined in order to provide our structural engineers with the necessary information to develop an adequate lifting and launching plan. First, we located where the different load spreaders needed to be dug so that the temporary pedestals could support the weight of the barge. After the barge was moved into position and leveled on top of the pedestals, we commenced the jacking procedure. For this stage, we implemented three kinds of hydraulic jacks of different sizes and capacities. These jacks would be positioned at strategic points so that the entire weight of the vessel would be supported without suffering any sinking while the rest of the operations took place. The barge would then be lifted so that the pedestals could be removed and the large airbags positioned, after which the most intricate aspects of the procedure would take place. Well, uh, we got the, the, the large airbags in the in front of the vessel and the jacks in the back. Uh, in the rear, of the, in the back of the vessel, it would probably be about uh, two meter, 60 centimeter high. Uh, so we're going to jack it down to eventually uh, 700 millimeters so we can change the large bags for smaller bags and uh, yeah, the barge will eventually roll in the water. 
We would start by jacking down the barge, maintaining constant pressure throughout the jacks until the desired airbag height was achieved. The barge would then have to be secured by winches so that we could start inflating the two meter airbags at the bow. Once the bags reached the same support level as the hydraulic jacks, the jacks would be removed and swapped for those at the stern. Then we would carefully repeat the procedure on each hydraulic group. This time the jacks would be replaced by one meter airbags until the barge was gradually lowered at the stern to the angle of the slope. Uh, we use airbags because it's a quick and safe way uh, to launch barges. And yeah, it's an easy piece of equipment, which is pretty suitable for underwater. In order for the move to be successful, it was crucial to obtain proper ballast for maintaining the adequate slope angle. This also helped to prevent the airbags from popping. An element that has strongly characterized Mammut in each one of our projects is our commitment to safety. For this reason, we made sure to follow the safety policies of our client and conducting frequent toolbox meetings so that our workers would be aware of each one of the hazards associated with every procedure and their surroundings for ensuring the safety of the operations, their own and those around them. At the point where the barge was fully supported by nothing but airbags, the winches would slowly start releasing tension so that the barge could start rolling into the water. At this point, it was vital to keep checking the pressure in the airbags for ensuring a smooth and straight path into the water. As the vessel reached the water line, the last group of airbags would be pressurized and more ballast water would be pumped into the chambers of the stern for maintaining the rolling angle. The move would continue by some more tension release from the winches, aided by the pulling force of different tugboats pulling from the stern and from each side. Once the barge was floating freely, the winches would be released, the tugboats would take control of the vessel, and the airbags would have done their job. Careful planning, detailed research, communication, and precision were the key factors to make the barge roll smoothly into the water. Timing might not be set on concrete or forged in steel. It isn't even all that heavy. And yet, it is the biggest thing we move.